careful with it, would you? And, uh, bye. Thanks for saving me from the Chuck Norris marathon with the snack run, Carly. No problem. Don't get me wrong. Sharing a motel room with him after a hunt is an awesome way to celebrate. But the man's choice in movies is iffy, even on a good day. What about mine? Digging into the law was not my idea of downtime after we cleaned out that nest. I'm coming back with nothing even remotely close to natural in it. Besides, you know I'm itching to take the wheel without your Mr. Backseat Driver and his comments. What? Someone's by the car. Of course. The one time he parks a mile away from the rooms. Really, Sandra? That's what you're going with for weapons? Well, Dean never uses them. Because throwing stars are as good of an idea as those films he makes you sit through. Oh, put the demon blade away. It's our old partner in crime. Hey, I guess you're wanting to tag along again? Well, come on in before Sam turns on the puppy dog eyes and makes me cave and bring him a salad, which I'm not going to do. I'm not a kale delivery system. All right. Well, you know Dean's house rules in baby. Driver picks the music, shotgun shuts his cake hole, and the ones in the back enjoy the ride, idling in the Impala. Hope you like meatloaf. For a snack? Music, Sandra. Music. Welcome to Idling in the Impala, a podcast by and for lovers of Supernatural and the fan fiction it inspires. I'm Sandra. I'm Carly. This week's episode is a little bit different. We're bringing you some of our outtakes and ramblings from previous recording sessions. We thought you'd enjoy listening to some of our mayhem and madness. Well, Carly, it's it's really just you ranting about stuff. I mean, it kind of is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it kind of is. Sorry, not sorry. Nope. Never, never be sorry for your ranting. <laughs> so sit back and enjoy. French mistake. Like, we obviously, we won't get into season six to ten. But the French mistake, it's lauded as such a fabulous episode, and it is. Mm-hmm. But from a plotline perspective, there's nothing. An angel. <laughs> they set it up in like the, the first two minutes. of the <laughs> Titanic because he didn't like the movie question mark like that's insane that doesn't now, fit into minute, anything carly, carly you're getting your episodes confused <laughs> am i getting my episodes confused the french mistake is when they go into the alternate universe yeah and it's something yeah no but it has something no, no, to do no, with no, no, no. No, yeah, yeah no it's balthazar, balthazar. That, yeah but they, but they crash in right and then they're they're on the set of supernatural for the yeah french mistake. that's not the for satanic the one. other that's, one that's, that's my heart will go on with... my heart will go on yeah, yeah see look she's so good I knew it. She's so good. I was like, I got this one. (laughs) Yeah, no, I think I knew the French mistake was it it was Balthazar that threw them Mm -hmm, into the AU and and I must just mix them up. Yeah, Yeah. what is it about Balthazar? He likes to mess up, he just likes to mess up the timeline a lot too. He just he was just all over the place that that one that one season. Yeah. Yeah, Just popped in and out. Anyway, my heart will go on. That's a dumb episode. (laughs) Fight me. That's dumb. That's just that's just dumb. Just while we're, while we're sort of sitting here just figuring stuff out, I highly mm-hmm. recommend those Supernatural candles. I can send you the Etsy link if you want. Okay, yeah. And is it like a set? Yeah, you can buy them separately, but it's a set. So you get okay. Winchester Like the Rifle, Devil's Trap, and Carry On My Wayward Son, because we're nothing if not original. <laughs> and it's um, Carry On My Wayward Son, Bourbon, Vanilla Cream, and Dean's Apple Pie, and it smells aggressively of cinnamon. But it okay. smells really nice. Okay, I like cinnamon, so I'm all I'm all for that. So that sounds. I hate like cinnamon. Good. You don't like cinnamon? I hate cinnamon. So do you so not much. like apple pie? Nope. Okay. All right. This is another reason why I'm not a dean person. I don't <laughs> think think he might have to like legally shoot me. I don't like apple no. pie for a lot of reasons. Cinnamon is like the least of the reasons. Okay. And mushy fruit is the top reason. Like, apples should be crunchy. They should not be mushy. That's disgusting it, in my eyes. <sighs> but no, it's it smells really good. It smells like cinnamon. And then there's like um, 
sort of like undertones of other things. Okay. That one's really nice. And then Devil's Trap is rock salt, incense, and iron bars. And it's got like, it's like a smell that I can't really describe, but it's not a bad smell. Mm-hmm. It's quite, quite sharp. Okay. But it's, just nice and they have wooden wicks as well so they okay. crackle and stuff nice and nice and then we've got winchester like the rifle which is like the jackets cedar wood and spent shotgun shells so mm. that one's that, that one would smell nice. like that would smell like dean a lot i think mm. like does none of them are like bad smells yeah they're really nice and it was like I- I actually did get, remember, I think I'd mentioned that um, I kept hearing about the kind of um, cologne that Jensen wears. And it was like that Tom Ford um, tobacco and vanilla. And I didn't buy that, but I did, I I went to this like imposter fragrance site and I got something that's supposed to be just like that. So, and it's a unisex um, perfume. So I've been wearing it like mm-hmm. a lot just to like, I'm like, okay, well, if I can ever actually hug him, I'll be able to see if it smells <laughs> like that. Yeah. Or just but I've heard that it's supposed to smell a lot like that. So I don't know. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. They look like they always smell good, don't they? Mm-hmm. Like they do look like they, they always really smell do. Good. They really do. I have to say more Jensen. Because he tends to be a bit more turned out than Jared. Well, Jared sometimes Jared, just, I think Jared sweats a lot, right? He just has this propensity to like sweat. Yeah, okay. he's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. He's either going to wear like quite strong smelling aftershave or something mm-hmm. to mask that, or he's just going to like he's found a deodorant that goes with it, and he's just <laughs> working with that. Or maybe, you know, like when he, if he's just like fresh off the sweat, like it's not that bad, you know, if it's, it's just like, if he's like, you know, brewing. <laughs> yeah. Like, he is good. It depends. Isn't I know he's a thing too. That's so funny. Like how, like, you know, we romanticize like, you know, yeah, man's musky smell. And it's like, well, no, that's usually not no. pleasant. <laughs> Gross. Gross. I remember, um, it's a, uh, like pet peeves is from a con it's pet peeves. Because Jensen talks about Jared putting gum on his counter in mm-hmm. his trailer. But before that, it's the one where Jensen is saying that he's really loud when he's getting ready for bed and it drives his wife crazy. Mm. I'll send you the link. Okay. But when Jared's asked, he's like, um, I get in the shower with my workout clothes on because they're gross. And I don't want to waste like waste money on laundry or whatever. So I'll like like get in the shower like with my workout clothes and then I'll just like squeegee them out in the shower and it drives my wife crazy because there'll be like a sock over the taps and then like a beanie and then like a shirt over the shower rail and I'm like put them in the wash my dude it's yeah. fine like don't oh so I'm just or have your own insane. separate bathroom that she never has to look at like and on the other <laughs> side of the house because they have enough room and space and just like have like have a cleaning person come and just take care of that hose it down whatever you have to do yeah I take just care don't, of it that way I don't understand the concept like they're, they're like they're rich there's no way they don't have their own like washer dryer situation yeah. going on yeah because like that's a that's a staple in every, like mm-hmm. in pretty much every home in the UK but I know it's not so much over there with like apartment living and stuff mm-hmm. um so like just Come in from the gym, take your shit off, put it in the washing machine, wash it, and then you can wear it again tomorrow. Why is this like, why are we saving on laundry? Like, <laughs> put it in the fucking machine, dude. Seriously. Go oh. wash that shit. What are you doing? I just remember watching it like, how expensive is it to wash clothes <laughs> where you live? Jesus. You got to get in the shower and do it all in one go. I- fucking baffled it's, absolutely it's, baffled. it's just it's just it's just uh that i don't know it's that like weird male like i i'm doing this and it's actually benefiting my partner when in in, in reality it's, it's doing that. everything but <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's making it more complicated why well, see, I like, like so for me meatloaf reminds you of meatballs so that's like how I make the the connection you know like I'm I'm okay mm. with meatloaf because it's like a bigger version of a meatball so and my mom makes really good meatballs so 
you know. It's not just like like just ground meat, just like squished together with so, like onions yeah, so and it's, stuff. Yeah, so it's like um, it's bread, egg, meat, all the good seasonings and stuff in there. So it doesn't have to be so much meat. Like I actually make meatloafs that have a lot of veggies in them. So it's kind of like I try to add like the carrots and the celery and the onions, but like a good portion, but like not huge bits, like use it in a food processor and really like, you know, pulse it down so that it kind of like mixes in with the meat and stuff. So we find ways to make it a little bit, I'm going to say healthy, but good for you. And not just like a big old log of meat. Cause I don't really like logs of meat either. So it depends on what you add to yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And no, you just don't want to like ground something and just like <laughs> form it into a ball and then just cook it. It's kind of like, yeah, it it's just, purpose. it just seems like such a strange thing. Cause like meatballs, like, like for us, that's like quite small, like, like a one, mm-hmm. two bite kind of thing. But I know like some, some kind of Italian recipes call for them to be like quite large. Oh yeah. We call them Dom, Dom DeLuise meatballs, the kind that my mom will make. She'll make like really like big ones. Like they'll be like, you know, it's like a meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like like that's that's a concept and then like mm-hmm. ground meat into burgers is another concept and i'm mm-hmm. like why you can make smaller versions of this why would you just make one giant what are you doing with this <laughs> it's just one of those things that just it just confuses me it just mm-hmm. confuses me but music music sandra music okay. not fucking food <laughs> okay yeah okay right okay so we're gonna do we're gonna start the podcast now. We're we are. <laughs> <laughs> I've distracted for too long now. I was like, hey, by the way, I think about this while inside. I'm like, ah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. The phone's going off and everything. I talk to people all day for a living. This is absurd, right? Well, you know what it is too? It's been a while since we've even like talked. You know what I mean? Like I think last time we kind of we recorded it kind of more not back to back but I mean it's been like a month too since I think we've talked so it's probably one of those like and I think now that we're actually doing this like and thinking about doing it regularly yeah. it's I've like, hyped oh, it up too much in my head okay yeah so whenever you're yeah. ready Carly but if you want okay. me to start I could start too and I can do like the the welcome part so no, 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 no. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. I gotta, okay. I gotta, I gotta do this. Because <laughs> if I, if I, if I go, no, Sandra, you do it. Then, then I'm giving. You up are so myself. much. You, you are so much better in terms of just improving and everything. So I'm, you've got this. You've totally got this. Yeah. No, we're cool. We're cool. <clears throat> right. Okay. So many good, good scenes, and then that. you get that that wonderful. I'm sure it's in Changing Channels where they get put on the the Japanese game show, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then you get that wonderful behind the scenes of Jared and Jensen talking about them showing what it did, and they were like, "But what if it just bends a little?" <laughs> <laughs> Which also, if we're talking about behind the scenes stuff, another reason that Yellow Fever is my my number one is for the Jensen and the Snake story, mm-hmm. yep. which is. Just because every time I watch it, I'm like, babe, you know what a 150 pound python isn't interested in? You. <laughs> You're not food. It doesn't care. Like it might try and wrap you up, but it, it, it will only be for shits and giggles. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not going to eat you. They're not scary. It's just a big puppy. Give it a kiss. Yeah. But he's so, <laughs> the way he tells the story is so compelling mm-hmm. that uh, like that piece of real life law makes it into my love of that episode because every time I watch that episode I'm like ah Sam was meant to be there and Jared <laughs> left and Jensen's terrified and it just feeds into it so yeah changing channels for the but what if it just bends a little <laughs> absolutely and I also like that um you kind of get the uh Dr. Sexy you know and you kind of get Dean fangirling and then you kind of get like a little like Huh, what's going on there, Dean? <laughs> yeah. You know, that kind of bit. It's it's a lot again, like stuff that they they put in and they just kind of like build on, you know, or in some ways do, but then don't. But it's it's yeah. So that was yeah, yeah. it would have been really great if the writers of season 15 had gone and looked back at would season been really helpful five and they were like, Hey, yeah, you know, they had that thing with, with Dean and the women's underwear, and 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 then they had that thing with the 
with, with the Doctor Sexy thing. And then here we're, we're, we're trying to make a gay relationship with the angel. Mm-hmm. And maybe we could link that shit. But they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Well, that, that didn't. I'm mad about that. No. Nope. you guys? You know, so. the day after I posted that. No, it might not have been the day after because I think I got sick the day after. It was a, a little while after I'd posted that. I told you guys I bought my husband yeah. the mm-hmm. world's most disgusting Christmas onesie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still wearing it. It's January. He's still wearing it. <laughs> he's just still floating around the house dressed in gingerbread and candy canes. <laughs> Honestly, this onesie is so, so gross. I will take a picture of him in it one time. No, I, for think, the group you, chat. I think you sent it. I think you sent us a picture of what you had purchased. Like you sent it's us like the, so... the, the card or whatever. I think it's, yeah, I remember seeing going, Okay. Yeah, my husband would probably be good in a snuggie, but I would never buy it for him. You know, when he opened when he opened that, there's a thing going around the UK at the moment. Um, it's like a as yeah, like a snuddy. So it's like a hoodie, but it's made of like big fluffy fleecy material. Okay. So when he started opening his presents, and obviously that one was squishy, and he was like, opened it and pulled it out, and he went, "Oh my god, I thought you bought me one of those snuddy things." And I was like, "No, baby, they're expensive. I want your onesie." <laughs> And he loves it so much, and he's still like floating around the house in this Christmas onesie. I can, anyway, I can he was... see Dean loving that too. Like you know, like just I mean, he, he, they put him in that uh, purple like, like um, oh that night girl. thing, you know. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> and he was loving that, so I could totally see him like oh, loving a onesie, you know. Um, and those but slippers. I'm just, oh, I'm just sat next to the step, sat next to my husband. He's gaming away, and I'm just doing on the laptop. And I turned, like I turned my head to look at him, and he pulled the zip down. Wouldn't <laughs> see a little bit. <laughs> so he's like, obviously he's warm, so he's pulled the zip down, and I absolutely started cracking up. And he looked <laughs> at me, and he's like what is the matter with you? I'm like, you know the thing that I just put online for Sandra? And I was like, I dressed Dean in a onesie for that and had the reader pull his onesie zip down. And I turned around and I was, just for a second, I was going to reenact the scene with him. And then I got myself in control. And he was like, you're insane. And I was like, well, I didn't expect life to imitate my art in this fashion. Please stop cutting around in that onesie. It's January. He won't. He won't. I know he won't. He'll wear it until the weather turns. I don't know what the stats are like for Anchor um, in terms of if you can see, or Spotify even, if you can see who follows the podcast or anything like that. But I can tell you, we officially have our first subscriber on YouTube. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. It's it's somebody I work with. I know who oh, it is. But good. Good. Yeah. It's, when it's I was not telling that much them, yet on them like Anchor and Spotify, but that's why I'm thinking too, like, I feel like we have to... You know, like if we keep at it, the one thing I've heard is that, you know, just when you like give up on it, it's probably when it's going to start to take off. So if you kind of just kind of keep at it, you'll, I think eventually, you yeah. know, get the followers and stuff, but that's great. No, about your, but your coworker. Yeah. No, I was telling them about it and she was like, oh yeah. Cause she couldn't find it at first. The guy, the guy, I've got a guy who's a supernatural fan and he was like, oh yeah. Is this the one that's like, um, a podcast for and by lovers of supernatural? And I was like, yep. That's the one. And she was like, I can't find that. I can only find Shifting Gears with Sandra. And I was like, oh, yeah, no, that's it. That's episode three. That's us. And she's like, oh, cool. I'll subscribe. Aww. So, Do you want to know what my husband is- did? And I was like, sweetie, why did you do that? But he, he went to go and um, he has to get an infusion every month for um for his MS. So he was at like his infusion center and he had a male nurse and he was like saying, oh, yeah, because I, I don't know how they got on the topic of it. Basically, yeah, my, you know, my wife is is like starting a podcast and the guy's like, Oh, what's the podcast about? And he's like, Oh, you know, supernatural. I'm like, Ted. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, what? I'm like, honey, it's supernatural, but it's got like a supernatural, like fanfic. And he's like, well, I don't know. He's like, I'm just trying to promote for you. I'm like, and I love you for it. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah. So he'll give it a shot. And even maybe, maybe he finds it. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he likes it. Maybe he doesn't. And he's like, I just want to like scream it from the rooftops. I'm like, but don't scream it that loud. Oh, <laughs> but I bless. think it's, I think it's cute. But he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, you're and I, so because I even told him, I said, you're probably like, you're gonna listen to ten minutes of it, and you're gonna be like, not my thing. I said, so I'm like, you know, not every episode we're going to be talking about 
just the show Supernatural. Like, you know, we really kind of go into the fanfic more. And I said, you're going to hear things. <laughs> 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 probably gonna be a little surprised at and he's like well I was like it's okay so who knows he might he might get he might get enjoyment out of it that might benefit me at some point so we we never know but yeah absolutely. Yeah, no, that I'm, was like, a thing. I'm like 99% sure my other half doesn't doesn't listen to it he listened to the first he listened to the first episode before we published it and he right. was like yeah no it's good it's not my thing yeah like at yeah, all yeah but yeah no it's good the, the sound's good and the sound effects are good and stuff mm-hmm. and I was like yeah that's all Sandra tell me what I did was good <laughs> praise I was like praise <laughs> I did I did the talking I like unless it's talking unless my mouth is moving I didn't do nothing so tell me what I did good but he was like I know he I know he won't listen even even under the guise of trying to help he like he doesn't read my stuff either he's like it makes me cringe and I'm like no that's fair enough well, I told Ted, I said, just go find it wherever you can find it and just like it. I said, you'd like it and subscribe. I said, you don't have to listen to it. I said, just do that. And that'll, that'll help us out. So he's like, okay, I yeah. can do that. I'm like, okay, good. I'm like, thank you for trying to promote it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's nice. I, I have like this that. thing. I told you, Carly, I have this problem with, I don't know how to promote myself properly. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to toot my own horn. And that's the thing I really need to try to work on more, you know, because it's like, I don't know. I just, I, I've always had an issue with that. So it's like me working through this is kind of, you know, it's good. It's good experience because maybe it'll help with my fiction too. Like, you know, once, you know, trying to promote mm-hmm. my, you know, my seven books for God's sakes more, like, you know, that are actually out there and that, you know, I, I think are, Hey, I think they're, they might be better than 50 shades of gray. <laughs> They are. I mean, of course, they're better than Fifty Shades of Grey. But literally, everything is better than Fifty Shades of Grey. I read all of those books. I read all of those books, and I think I read because you remember. You remember how the author of Twilight did that spin-off where it was from Edward's point of view. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you know Fifty Shades of Grey is basically Twilight fan fiction. Yeah, it's just rewritten. Yeah, they're just like different yeah. place, different setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they did they did a, a spin-off called Grey, and I'm pretty sure I read that too. And it was just, oh, it's awful. It's horrible. The books are dreadful. I watched the first movie mm-hmm. with my other half, and we were like, oh, this would be romantic. And we watched it in bed when the Jay was with his dad. And I was like, I'm so fucking bored. Do you want to have actual real life <laughs> sex right now? Because I'm done with this fucking movie. Like, we could do anything else. We could we will never get this two hours back we could do anything else yeah. and we stopped the fucking movie and went and had actual real life sex because it was so boring yeah i i hate it and i haven't watched the others and i've got friends who are like oh 50 shades of gray contributed to the conception of my child and i'm like i wouldn't brag about that i wouldn't i wouldn't tell people that i well, really fucking wouldn't yeah it's just a complete it's just it, it it takes something but then doesn't represent it in a way that's in any way accurate or helpful mm-hmm. or positive or yeah I, I don't even think I I think I read like the first couple chapters just like you know that were free I think on like um Amazon or whatever and I was just like really I was like this is like this is what people are going crazy for and then I've watched the movies just to like see all the things not to do ever at some point if you have to adapt because if it's already not good material and you're adapting and it's you can't make it any better and yeah it's a whole it's a whole thing but again like it's almost like it's a light version for some people I guess but it's not accurate so it's not helpful and and I don't really, I don't mind Dakota Johnson. I actually think she's really good in other things. Um, but I, is it Dakota Johnson? I can't remember. Is that her it's name? It's Dakota, it's Dakota Fanning. Is it Dakota Fanning or is it, I thought she was Don Johnson's daughter. No, I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's Dakota Fanning because I'm pretty sure she joined back up with Kristen Stewart for the Runaways film, which is fucking amazing. Oh, I saw that one. I liked that one, but I felt like that was the same. No, it's it is Dakota Johnson for Fifty Shades. Yeah, no, Dakota Fanning totally. No, that's a great actor. She was in um, what else was she in? Wasn't she in a Twilight too? Like she had a small bit. Dakota Fanning. I feel like she was in Twilight. Oh, yeah, Dakota Dakota Johnson is in um Fifty Shades of Grey. It's Mm -hmm. Dakota Fanning in in Twilight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she's married to Chris Martin. Is that Chris Martin of uh, Coldplay? 
It is. Hey, look at that. Look at that. But yeah, so, um, it's a small world, isn't it? Yeah, but I, I mean, I've seen more things that I, I like Dakota Johnson in. Um, but I just, this isn't, this isn't just, this isn't a good, a good one. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. But again, I guess there's some people that do, and that's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's not for me. And like the characters were really bland and mm. I was just there. That was horrible. I didn't yeah. like it. And also, I didn't find him very attractive as well. Mm-hmm. Well, personally, I'd heard about, and I mean, could you imagine? Like, I, I mean, and I'm glad he didn't do it, but like I, some people were like, oh, you know, Jensen should have been, you know. Uh, oh, no, I'd have never been able to watch no. anything he did ever again. No. It's no. like if he, he wouldn't have been able to uh, like elevate anything in in that like the only no. thing that would have been and even then it would just would have been like just seeing him without a shirt on <laughs> that would yeah. have been it you know that would have been the that's same it thing. yeah yeah no. Okay, so this is normally the part of any given podcast where we would go, hey, our sponsor today is, but we ain't sponsored. So we just have some uh, causes, some charities that we'd like to um, bring to your attention, point you in the direction of if you feel able or willing to donate to them. We have three main sort of causes, inverted commas, that we're uh, uh, promoting feels like the wrong word, but like signposting, highlighting, Mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. So the first one is um, to do with the conflict in Ukraine, the Russian invasion unlawfully of Ukraine. So we would just like to draw your attention to World Central Kitchen, which, as it sounds like, is, um, you know, helping to feed people that are affected by this conflict. Um, You know, although it's dropped out of the media quite a bit now, there's still a hell of a lot of people in Ukraine that are trapped, that are cut off you know, that are struggling for food and water and basic supplies. So that's what that charity is there for. We have Kids Save, which, again, as the name suggests, is looking out for the children that are affected um, by this. I mean, conflict feels like the wrong word. It's, you know, it's an unlawful invasion. But yeah, yeah, Yeah. Kids Save. And then we have, if you don't want to sort of, if you don't feel you can or want to commit to just one single charity, We also have a link to the global giving page for the Ukraine Crisis Relief Fund, which obviously is then split between various different places that needs to go. It's sort of the global equivalent of a GoFundMe or a Just Giving page. So we have that. And then for those of you that are in the US and, oh, Lord, we know it's hard right now. We do. So we have the um, Mums Demand Action, Ending Gun Violence, Um, The Sandy Hook Promise, Advocate for Gun Regulation in Your State, wherever you may be. We have the American Civil Liberties Union, which is, you know, basic human rights. Come on, people. Like, it it doesn't feel like it should be this hard, but somebody needs to give your government a kick up the ass and be like, Mm -hmm. hey, it's not this hard. You're making it harder than it is. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, vote.gov. You know, look up the voting regulations in your state, in your area, find out what you need to do, be informed, be prepared, because that is the best way to enact any kind of change. And that doesn't just go for the US, that goes for the UK, anywhere else. Educate yourself. Know what you need to do so nobody can catch you out. Last cause, definitely not least, LGBT, LGBTQ plus people, my folks, we are under attack. There's no easy way to say it. There's no nice way to say it. People want us dead, yo. It's really heavy in the US. It's coming in the UK, you know, and it's fucking hard. There's no one cause fits all for this. There's nothing particularly global And to be honest, I didn't really want to signpost to any, you know, causes that are fighting against this. I want to bring this down more to people. You know, we're not just, we're not a statistic. Everyone's a person. So the causes I want to signpost are Switchboard LGBT in the UK and the Trevor Project in the USA. And they are both um, services where you can reach out, you can be connected to people to talk to, you know, it's hard. We need to come together, guys. So if you need to talk to somebody, if you need help, if you are not safe where you are, these charities will help you. You know, reach out to them, even if it's just someone to talk to, even if it's just someone to go, this fucking sucks. 
if you need that help, reach out as well. For anyone outside of the US and the UK, I'd like to draw your attention to the Trevor Project. Again, they have resources for international LGBTQ plus people, youth. We know that as much as it's hard in our countries, it's a hell of a lot harder in some other countries and it's not easy to come out. It's not easy to be safe. So take a look at that link for some resources, some places to go for help, some ideas of how to keep yourself safe. So again, it's not a sponsor. We wish we had a nice fun sponsor to bring you, but we know that it's hard and we just want to point you in the direction of help for others if you can give it and help for yourself if you need it. So back to the podcast, I guess. Because I think the wives do have a little bit of influence on like, you know, what they like and what they don't. Um, maybe just a little bit on speaking that. As a, speaking as a wife, <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think I have influence over my hub's hair. I mean, I don't, I would never tell him what to do with his hair, but I do offer gentle encouragements. Mm-hmm. I know, try. Like, I try sometimes if, and see what works and what doesn't, but yeah. No, no, I, I've got a great tip for you. If you just like it, j- just gentle encouragements, you know, sort of things like if mm-hmm. you cut it, I'll divorce you. <laughs> I found that to be very effective. Very effective. I am, of course, joking, people. <laughs> it is not the way my marriage runs. My husband willing has willingly grown his hair out to, mm. like, it, it's longer than moose hair now. It's past his shoulders. Oh, oh you must love that. that. You I must do. love that. That's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. It's great. He's, oh. uh, I think I told you guys, he um, butchered his fringe a little while ago mm-hmm. to get it out of his eyes. Mm-hmm. And then as, as hair does, it's not grown back and is still... <laughs> in his eyes so he's back to walking around the house with headbands on like something out of a like a 90s workout video (laughs) and I love it so much it makes me so happy but no he's my my other half has um brown hair um so again I get the um you know when he's we don't see sun that often over here Mm. but when it is sunny and you know it catches all the like reds and golds and stuff in his hair and it's it's really beautiful and I'm like oh baby you should have grown this out like Uh now mine is um mine's half Italian and half Scottish so he's got the dark hair on the top and his beard is nice and like got the reds and stuff in it so they couldn't quite figure out a way to mingle appropriately and he's um he decided to grow his hair, but his hair gets very curly, kinky. So mm-hmm. it's, he's just got a ton of curls. It's like spiral curls everywhere right Aww. now. And it's cute, but I'm like, that's cute. I'm like, you got the Superman, you got the Superman curl in the front. I'm like, but it's, it's like getting, but I'm, it's his hair. So I, I, I love it regardless, but I can't, I can't say I wouldn't mind if like, you know, he got a little bit of like a, a little more quaffed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I love boy. it. I love it regardless, but if you yeah. can just sort that mess out, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just um, sort of trying to convince my other half to uh, just go to a hairdresser's and get a sort of style put into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, yeah, I'm I'm going to do that. And then bless him, he doesn't. Yeah. But then I've been saying I'm going to go to a hairdresser and get my hair cut in some sort of style for a good six months now. Yeah. And I've just, I just, right now it's just always long with me. So it's like every few months I'm like, okay, I'll cut it, but he likes it long. So I don't get it. I'm like, maybe I should just cut it really short. And then I get a look like, oh, please don't do that. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, well, I had it before, you know, like way, way back, but he never saw it. Um, but I had it in high school. I had it pretty short, but it did the whole kinky curly thing that his does. And I get like a mushroom head. Uh, so I don't know, probably would not be the same thing. Now I have a lot less hair, even though it's long and you know as you get older it thins out a bit so I don't think yeah. do the same thing so I don't know what it would do I'm maybe I'm scared to see what would happen <laughs> yeah I mean in the, in the interest of um of transparency and turn about being a fair play when I say to my husband if you cut your hair I'll divorce you my husband gets to turn around to me and go if you shave your head again I'll fucking divorce you mm. because I went a bit 2008 Britney Spears in during the first sort of not the first first lockdown in 2020 but like the our government fucked about and it was before christmas and they were like lockdown maybe question mark mm. um and i was just like fucking no and it was in november and i just shaved like shaved all my hair off mm. um so i've been gro- i've been growing it back now and it's um kind of like moosey kind of length <laughs> yes. like 
I'll be honest, like I've I, like all the way through, I've compared it to like it's like season X <laughs> Sam length now. Um, but like it's it's long enough to tie back in a ponytail and my bangs are sort of kind of just just long enough to tuck behind my well, they're long enough to tuck behind my ears, but they mm-hmm. stay more often than they don't stay now. Okay. So it's getting there and it's um so it sounds like we're what? talking season four, season five, maybe Sam? Yeah, Not quite season mi- six yet. No, it's it's no, it's probably season six. If I straightened it, it, okay. it would be season six, but I'm I'm not straightening it at the moment. I'm just letting it be. It's it's free and natural moose self. Good. Good. It's free Good. and natural moose self, and it's um bright red at the moment. Okay. Well, not it's bright red in the sun, but <laughs> in <laughs> it's really frustrating because in like inside lights, it doesn't show up as red at all. It just looks like brown. Yeah. But then I go in the sun and it's like really bright red yeah but, i did a little bit of red like when i went to the convention and it, it did it did nothing because you could only see it in the sunshine i was like well i'm not doing this again i'm not gonna, mm. I'm not gonna do this again um oh, i gotta cover up the gray sandra i gotta cover up the gray. oh I, I have to do it too i i'm i went a while without doing it and then like just last week i finally colored my hair and i feel i feel better <laughs> it took a while it was like four I think it was a good, maybe, maybe it's two, three months when I hadn't colored it. I was like, I need to color my hair. So it's got the browns, but you know, the brown mm-hmm. does its thing in the light and it can get red or it can be a little golden sometimes depending. So, yeah. 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 Well, I'm on, I'm on a promise. My, um, one of my best friends is getting married in September <laughs> Okay. and I'm, I'm on a promise that I will not have another mental breakdown and shave my hair before okay. her wedding. So like it's, I would, I would, I honestly wouldn't want to shave it again. It was great though. Like it's just zero maintenance, mm. absolutely zero. Like you get out the shower, like you have to wash it in the shower because you've got like no fucking hair. Mm-hmm. You get out and it's just, just dry. You get up in the morning and it's just done. Like it, it was great. Like zero maintenance, and I really loved that part of it. Okay, but like my husband very much did not. Yeah, and I, I didn't particularly like. I love the lack of maintenance, but I didn't particularly love the lack of hair. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a good job I'd fallen in love with beanie hats before I did that because okay. otherwise I would kind of fall in love really fucking quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I wouldn't shave it again because I don't want to go through the ball like of regrowing it and having yeah. like season one hair, yeah, you know, where it's just you know, all over your ears and stuff. I hated it. We don't need you to get back to that. No, 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 you're making gonna, good progress. You're making good I'm progress. Gonna, gonna grow it out, I'm gonna keep it like around around shoulder length so i'm not gonna okay. let it grow really long again okay good i i, I love seeing the updates yes. yes very much moose flippies i love it I yeah love it. it's um well, one of my favorite things is uh if i get in the shower before work and then because i work with a headset on like it's like it smooshes it all back and i've i've realized that if i don't like take my headset off after so often like brush a parting in it just goes fucking insane <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no it's, it's all good so that's that's our lowdown on the boys' hair. And hair, hair, and just hair in general. Our spouse's so. hair, yeah. <laughs> My eldest boy is growing his hair out as well. His father does not approve, mm. but that's kind of... I, I dropped him off with his dad yesterday, and his his stepbrother was there, and they were going to get a haircut, and I was like, all right, cool, because I was like, what's him? And I was like, hi, are you all right? Have you had your haircut yet? And uh, my son's dad turned in and he went, you could do a do an haircut. And I just went, you're wasting your time. As my <laughs> my son is like violently shaking his head. He's currently rocking an early 2000s emo fringe. Like okay. it's like, it's down to his cheekbones now. <laughs> like he's lost a whole eye. <laughs> Bless him. And then my youngest is, he still lets mommy cut his hair. So I just okay. shave his hair every couple of months. Nice. He's still, he's still young enough that like it looks cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Getting better at it. Yeah. Um, so did you get a chance? I know you didn't, but it's okay. (laughs) 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 You just don't even bother. You just don't even ask me if I've done the thing. You need to be like, Carly, you need to go and do this. No, so this, this so this day. is what so this is what I'm gonna say. I know you're gonna look for those those sounds for um the uh the intro and stuff as I'm hitting my microphone. But so the sounds for Dean with his don't forget the pie and where's the pie, or if you find something fun that's like Sam, because then what I could do is I could even like make a couple different ones and like some I could have Sam, you know what I mean? Um mm-hmm. but 
I was trying to do something about the themes. Um, so I was doing some digging and I'm on the meeting. I see you're in, you're in there too with me. The, um, I'm also in that. Notes. <laughs> so yep. I didn't know if you thought that there'd be one, these aren't necessarily the best themes. And again, like if you want to read through some stuff that I had maybe this weekend, like some of those links and things. Um, but I mean, I know a big one is fate versus free will, self-sacrifice versus self-interest, um, family, you know, um, but I was trying mm. to think like other, like themes. I like, I like those ones because they're not the sort of traditional, traditional things that you, you know, you tend to see like, oh, like parenting daddy issues, things mm-hmm. like that, or like, um, anything to do with Destiel or queerness in the show or anything mm-hmm. there they're interesting I've got to say the family you come from versus family you make is jumping out at me mm-hmm. I've got a lot of feelings about that that'll be a rambly one okay it's well just, then that's good I want rambling going... <laughs> <laughs> yeah no they're they're good and like self-sacrifice versus self-interest if you save the world me, do you save yourself yeah the Dean, second that, like that no well, if you save the world see so for me if you save the world do you save yourself i was thinking sam because i feel like a lot of the stuff that he tries to do you know like saving he's, he's also trying to find that that way to like you know we talk about his not feeling clean or not feeling pure and i i kind of like gravitate towards that where i think fate versus free will a lot of that i think is more to me but again this is good but stuff we could talk about like i feel like that's really more dean at least more towards like once he finds out how everything is has maneuvered and is making its way you know through story-wise but yeah no we could we could like try a couple um maybe we could start with family the family one um and then maybe just go ahead I'm getting a lot of Dean vibes from the self-sacrifice versus mm-hmm. self-interest because I'm mm-hmm. already, we've talked about it like yeah, Dean self-sacrificing. Is it, does it come from a good place or does mm-hmm. it come from him needing him to one. keep the yeah. people around him mm-hmm. yeah. around? Yeah, no, they're, they're good, they're good themes. Okay. Like, yes. And then maybe I we promise. can like, you know, as we're thinking about it, like specific instances. And I know we've probably talked, hit these in like little bits, but I think like actually like finding some references or things from, um, and then I don't know if we could find um, fix that we really already enjoy that maybe have something like that in them. Um, mm-hmm. But see, for me, a theme, like I just know theme wise, like probably for the writing, because I know D and I talk about this a lot. It's just like that feeling of safety, you know, like how to make them feel safe you know like that's like a big thing I think that in the fiction part um so yeah so that's that's those are sort of my ideas and then like I said for the next episode I guess we do a hair thing (laughs) (laughs) we can rank hair I I haven't I mean I'm already getting ideas of like I really think probably and it's weird but I think later seasons of Dean I kind of gravitate towards more and I don't know why but um Probably season mm-hmm. 10 for me, I think, is going to be a thing just because it's Demon Dean hair. And oh, I feel yeah. like that's a really good season, even if it's only for like three episodes. It's still really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, so we can we can kind of do that. Um, and I was reading that one that you sent me. It didn't really have Dean hair. It had some hair pulling, but it wasn't. I may have to use yours. <laughs> I may have to use yours as a as a reference point for for hair because I feel like you like to grab onto his hair. <laughs> I, re- I really I may, do. I may have to use that one. Um, so again, like I don't know if we want to try to just find stuff that kind of like matches with what we're talking about. So I don't know. It's just a thought, but um, yeah, no, yeah. no, that's that's cool. I'm just, I'm just looking for, um, like Dean hair kind of things now. <laughs> you did send <laughs> me like, one once and there was like, but it really like, it looks so like his earlier stuff. I just know I don't really like it short, short, short. So that's just like, not a thing for me. It's not my favorite. I think it's like season the, like, three. like season three and season yeah. four out. Yeah. No, I'm looking I think more than anything, but you know what I think season three is too, is they're both so clean shaven. 
they look like babies, like more, they look like more like babies than they even did. Like feel like in season one and two, like, I feel like season three, it's like, they were told by producers or whatever to just like, no, we don't want any facial hair on their face at all. It they just look like they look like a dolphin's belly, like Dean likes to say to yeah. Sam. It's it's true. It's like it's I so I think it's that whole thing, but yeah, but we can discuss yeah, I've, that. I've got to say, I think if I had to pick a, like a Dean hair that would be my favorite, it would have to be either. Is that 10, 11, 12, 12 is a good look, mm-hmm. 15, and like even one. I know he's like baby Dean and I have issues with baby Dean. Like but it it's a lot longer, longer, right? It just feels longer in season yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we'd have to like special mention Dean Man as well. Mm-hmm. And I think I'd have to special mention like Michael Dean as well because mm-hmm. I'm kind of, kind of into that. Yeah, because when he's like in the tux and like his hair's like Uh, parted, that's certain special. (laughs) I feel like that's like a light version of Demon Dean almost a little bit. It's like, it's a little more like refined. It's like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. See, we'd have plenty to talk about. (laughs) Absolutely. You know, I'm looking, I'm looking at um, pictures and like gifts of Demon Dean at the moment. And he's got like, it's not as strong as the Michael parting. Mm -hmm. He still has a parting in his hair. Mm -hmm. Whereas when it's, normal dean cut there's no part and it's all smushed over to one side mm-hmm. i think that might be it's the swagger as well because i'm literally watching a gif of him walking through the bunker yeah, yeah. and it's like like the swagger and the confidence is amazing mm-hmm. ah, dean, dean. <laughs> dean go find a reason to pull out that do it gif as well that's what i'm gonna do that's we're gonna have to find a way to get that in there we will we'll get that in there um, Absolutely. Yeah, so that's, so like I said, I'll. Um... Thank you for listening. If you'd like to reach out to us, email us at idlinginthimpala at gmail.com. On Twitter, we are idling in the letter D Impala. To reach out to me or to read some of my work on AO3, you can find me under Drasna, D R A S N A. On Twitter, I'm S Kyle Wrights. S-K-Y-L-E-W-R-I-T-E-S. And if you'd like to read some of my original fiction, you can visit my website at sandrakyle.com. Yay, well done. She had to read that. I know she had to read that. (laughs) So um, I'm the agent of chaos and all the things, but in this one specific area, I'm very organized. So if you want to reach out to me, I am Kali Karma on AO3 and Twitter. So that's Kilo, Alpha, Romeo, Lima, Echo, Echo, and then Karma as you would spell it normally. Same profile picture in both places in case you think, hey, I wonder if there's two people out there with a weird spelled name. Same profile picture. It's probably me. So, you know, reach out, send us an email reach out to us on Twitter. If you've got any fic recommendations, you've got any things you want to hear us talk about, hear our opinions on, reach out, let us know what's going on. Thank you very much for listening, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. If three different types of pie can't tear him away from the television, nothing will. God, I hope the movie's done by now. All I know is I am deserving of some hair care tonight. By hair care, you mean running your fingers all through Sam's. Absolutely. Well, baby's back safe and sound, and we've got some boys to see. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Who knows? Maybe next time we'll give you the keys to take her for a spin. Where's the pie? Look at these chemicals. You even read the label? No, I read pie. The rest is just blah, blah, blah.